Hi guys, Ash here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Titanium Backup. So whether you're new to this app or you've been using it for quite some time, hopefully by the end of this video, you should have picked up a few things because we're gonna go ahead and take a look at both the free and the pro versions in detail. So what Titanium Backup is, it's a backup app that helps you uh, save, save up all your data, all your apps and the data related to the apps in case you're going to go ahead and wipe, uh, do a format of your phone that is do a factory wipe or flash a different ROM or if you want to migrate your data, data to a different phone. So these are the situations where Titanium Backup comes in handy. So if, you've, if you have your phone rooted, there's a good chance that you're, you know, you're trying to flash different ROMs and so on. And most ROM installations start with do a, do a, do a factory wipe. So this is how you carry your apps and data across different ROMs. All right, so I'm gonna look, we're gonna look at the uh, free version of Titanium Backup first. So once you launch it, you're gonna get a pop-up asking you for to grant or accept, uh, you know, for super user privileges. Hit grant or accept. Okay, how, how do we go ahead and back up stuff? So going into Backup and Restore. Now just tap the menu button and select Batch. And go ahead and hit Backup all user apps and data, system data, all right? So uh, over here, guys, the white ones are the user are the user apps. Uh, the green ones are the ones that Titanium Backup says are important system apps, and the red ones are not so important system apps. All right. So you can go ahead and select the ones you want, and then go ahead and hit run run batch operation. All right. This will take a few minutes, and you can leave the phone unattended at this time. Shouldn't be a problem. So. I'll be back with you guys once, you know, the backup is done. So guys, as you saw, this took quite some time. So alternatively, what you can do is go to batch. Uh, select all user apps and system data and you can just deselect all and just select the ones you want I would suggest selecting the white ones those are the user user ones and like I said uh, most of the important ones that are shown by Titanium Backup itself so select the green ones you know calendar alarms if you have any alarms your contacts SMS MMS eh, and so on just select that and run it all right, now moving on to how you actually how we actually restore the apps. So going back into batch. So guys, the the way it works usually the rule of thumb is if you're moving between uh, similar ROMs, like for the HTC One X, if you're moving between Sense ROMs, or you know in the case of the Galaxy series, the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy S3, uh, if you're moving between TouchWiz based ROMs, then you can go ahead and restore uh, all user apps and system data. There should not be any issues, but if you're gonna go ahead and uh, you know, in case of a, you know the Galaxy S2 or the Galaxy Note and phones like that, if you're switching versions of Android, if you're if you've backed up stuff with Gingerbread and you're moving to Ice Cream Sandwich, or if you're backed up stuff with Ice Cream Sandwich and moving to Jelly Bean, in the in those cases, just go ahead and do a restore. What is that? Uh, restore missing apps with data all right uh, do not restore the system apps because generally when you're moving between ROMs that are very different you might end up getting some force closes and issues if you restore uh, all all system data the best thing for you to do will be to restore uh, missing apps with data so guys you can also uninstall stuff uh, using titanium backup just tap on anything and hit uninstall It'll be uninstalled right from here. Uh, you can create a f create a filter uh, here. Create a filter and just select the user apps and hit apply, and you'll just see what apps you have installed. And you can just go ahead and uninstall whatever. Yes, File Explorer, uninstall. And since you've backed everything up already, if you change your mind, you want to reinstall stuff, you can do it easy easily. Just uh, go ahead and clear the filter. Hit apply and scroll to the end or another thing easier way to do it would be uh, edit the hit filters 
and select uninstalled apps alone and uh, hit apply so as you can see over here uh, ES, file, ES file explorer and Adobe flash player are here another option another way to do it is going into batch and you can also hit restore missing apps with data as you can see there are two two apps that are missing so here's where the differences between the free version and the pro version kick in so uh, with the free version when you run the batch operation you will not be able to leave the phone unsupervised because for every app you need to go ahead and hit install and once it's done you need to hit done again hit install and done and you can also schedule your backups guys uh, redo backups for modified data so if you set a certain time uh, your phone will ch a titanium backup will check for whatever apps you've changed say for example you've played another few levels of angry birds it will go up and back that up as well so that if you restore your data from that point you will get to that exact level so again uh, backing up all new apps and newer versions you can set a schedule for this to be done so guys uh, another thing that you can do with uh, titanium backup here is you can just tap on an app and you can go ahead and restore a previous version or you can delete the backup you have you can wipe the data and you can also back it up again from here alright so you can also launch the app from here as well as far as freezing goes that's for the pro version alone you can wipe the data and you can restore it from a backup so over here it'll ask you whether to uh, here you can select data only so again uh, while going into preferences you can you can select uh, auto TB auto sync TB settings so that if you set any filters or something that will also get backed up so next time you install titanium backup uh, you will have your filters and your custom settings whatever changes you've made active on the new on the app that you install again uh, and you can also select your select your backup folder location so guys say I'm, I've moved from a ROM running ice cream sandwich to a ROM running jelly bean uh, and I'm gonna restore my system apps what you do over here is tap on calendar and hit restore alright and then go into the calendar app and launch it and if it launches fine well and good if it doesn't then you come back over here go ahead wipe data and then you open up calendar it'll work it's just that your data isn't comp compatible with the new ROM or the upgrade of Android so these are the basic features that you actually get with a free version of a, a titanium backup so let's quickly take a look at the pro version right now and I've got the pro version on my Galaxy S3 alright guys now moving on to the pro version of titanium backup okay there are quite a few advantages the first thing is uh, the app is uh, a lot faster alright uh, the main advantage over here is when you're gonna go ahead and restore a backup so I don't think I have any backups over here yet no I don't so let me quickly back up a few few apps just the uh, user apps over here so that I can show you the difference uh, around the batch operation so when you're gonna restore stuff that's where the pro version uh, scores over the free free version when you restore uh, all apps it's just one one tap over here you don't have to go and hit install and done again it just restores by itself so that is one of the biggest advantages over here as you can see so guys one more advantage is with the pro version is the ability to freeze apps so uh, how, how the freezing works over here is uh, the app still remains it's not uninstalled uh, it is there but it is not it, it is almost as if it doesn't exist you cannot open the app it does not run uh, it's there but it's frozen so uh, you can go ahead and re defrost it at a later time if you want it to run so that is another option over here and again you've got your market tools so how, how market doctor works uh, is that it'll scan your installed apps and if the, say for example you have uh, an app that came with the ROM say for example titanium backup the free version uh, but when you go on to uh, the market or the Play Store uh, the Play Store will not show the backup as installed 
okay the links might be missing or broken so that point of time all you need to do, do is just scan scan for this and uh, market doctor will get that done for you uh, relink the app to the market and similarly uh, another tool over here is uh, market auto updates so once you go into it it will show you what all apps have auto update selected for them and if you want to you can go ahead select everything and set them as auto updates or deselect all and make sure that none of them auto update you need to uh, manually update for each and everything okay so moving on uh, you also have the option to clean up Dalvi cache uh, the difference between doing this here and going into clockwork mod and doing a uh, clear Dalvi cache is that uh, with clockwork mod your whole Dalvi cache gets cleared uh, so that it has to rebuild the reboot which means it's going to take a longer time for that that one reboot but when you do it via titanium backup it just clears the unwanted files which means that uh, your reboots are still going to be as fast as they were alright uh, moving on guys the next uh, next advantage you get here is uh, Dropbox uh, and box uh, backup so this is basically cloud storage wherein your backups get directly uploaded to Dropbox so this is a one-way transfer guys as in uh, at most times so how this works is all you need to do is go into preferences and enable Dropbox and go into Dropbox settings and uh, set stuff just the name and labels to synchronize and uh, the whole backup history or just the latest backups and backups per app and so on so guys once you set that up uh, all your all your backups will be synced directly uh, to Dropbox and then uh, if you lose your phone or if you lose your memory card or if your memory card gets corrupted uh, and you wanna restore your backups all you need to do is just sign up, sign into, uh, sign into Dropbox, get Titanium Backup installed, and Titanium Backup will get your backup back from the Dropbox. So, alright, guys, uh, one more thing here. Okay, uh, say let's take the scenario. Uh, say I've been playing this game, Amazing Alex. All right, I've played a few levels of this. All right, I've played about. 16 levels all right uh, and say for example I don't want anybody messing up my scores and somebody else wants to use my phone titanium backup is gonna help you over here how it works is you just go into titanium backup uh, create profiles so let me create a profile here ash and uh, create another profile I'm gonna name it guest alright and now I'm just gonna go activate ash right now and I'm gonna to go to backup and restore click to fill click for filters and select user apply it so right now I'm gonna go into amazing Alex and enable multi multi uh, multiple profiles for this app I hope you can see that all right so once I do that then I can just go into widgets and I can select titanium backup and select actions select data profile and create the widget so right now you see it says ash uh, and if I'm gonna change it and go into guest and now I open I launch the game You see, uh, the everything is locked. So uh, you can do this for any app. So guys, moving on. The next thing over here is uh, for if you're using it on an older phone, 
uh, you know you have your external storage you have your internal storage and then you have your system ROM alright if you want you can actually convert an, uh, a user app going to edit filters all apps apply you can actually con convert a user app into uh, a system app so how that works is tap and hold it and then hit convert to system app so once you do this this app turns into red it is actually moved on to your system ROM so another thing you can do here is you can actually so go into preferences I'm sorry go into preferences and you can also uh, go ahead and encrypt your backups uh, you can also go ahead and select the maximum the maximum backup history you can set up to 15 back uh, up to 50 backups for every app so uh, you'll have different versions of the app uh, backed up in case you wanna you know you, you're not happy with this with the single backup you have you can go back to a different backup and so on so that's pretty much it guys when it comes to uh, you know titanium backup uh, I'd suggest and really recommend that you guys uh, purchase the pro version uh, or at least you know get your phones rooted and ha have the free version installed and start backing stuff up and flashing uh, so you know flashing different ROMs that's the heart of uh, Android, so you aren't using an Android device unless I mean until you booted it and you started flashing. That's my opinion. So uh, that in backup is mandatory for me. So anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, thanks a lot for watching. And before you go, you guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more Android videos, especially for the Galaxy Note, the S3, the One X, uh, Nexus Seven soon and probably the note 2 as well so uh that's pretty much it guys uh, and if you guys do want to do me a favor click my links to uh, amazon in the description if there's anything you want to order online not smartphone related stuff whatever it is go through my links i tend to make a few cents to a few bucks so that is if you guys do want to help me uh which i hope you do so and again hit the subscribe button thanks a lot for watching guys you have a great day bye bye now